So I've been around the game of golf for over 25 years now, and I must say, all I've done is watch it get longer, slower, and more boring. Yes, it's been my job. Yes, I love the game, but I don't love that it takes up five to six hours of your day. I do love this new movement in the game of golf about shortening it, playing shorter golf courses, par three courses, all of that. And today is an absolute first for me. I'm about to play a 12 hole golf course. Right behind me, this is the Yards. Brand new golf course. I'm getting kind of a little sneak peek of it here. It's literally on the front door of the PGA Tour. TPC Sawgrass is, is right there, right there. This golf course used to be called Oak Bridge. I had played Oak Bridge a couple times and wasn't very good. But what they've done here is they've turned this old 18 hole track into an incredible 12 hole track. Front nine here is a traditional nine hole course. Then you have a six hole loop behind the clubhouse that's all par threes, which is the backyard. This is the front yard, but then the 12 hole golf course is these nine holes and then the outer par three of the backyard. So I'm gonna play those 12 holes, par 44, course record is 41. Let's see if I can break that and give you an inside look into this incredible, innovative, unbelievable take on the game of golf. How cool is this? The, the holes even have names, so hole number one. It's a warm handshake. Nothing too crazy, just a warm handshake to start your day. Okay, well you're gonna see 12 holes of golf, but you're also gonna see me geeking out for 12 holes because I think this is the coolest thing ever. I mean, the first hole is 335, but there's water like 250, so you're not going for the green, so you just whiff a three iron into the right rough, and now try to wedge it close and make a birdie. Before we go any further, let me know down in the comments below what you think about a 12-hole golf course. Is this where golf should be going or is this too controversial? Is this too, too modern? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm really curious. I think it's great. I think it's the direction the game needs to go in to get more people playing golf. But I'm really curious what your thoughts are down below. How pure do these greens look? A little firm, brand new greens, but Man, there's not a blemish on them. Bit of work for that four, but uh, we'll take it to start. Immediately the condition is like night and day. I played Oak Bridge and its nickname was Joke Bridge, unfortunately. Just the course to kind of let itself go. Bad shape, bad grass. And then for the new ownership to come in and buy this place and just turn it into this. Oh, so cool. Just what we wanted, a little further up, a few more yards, it would have trickled on down. Look at this awesome little bailout, tricky little chipping area. Small, funky green. Very, very cool. Why it's called double disguise? There's two greens on this hole. Right down there, basically, and thank goodness I hit that thing a little too far. So there was like water left, water at the end of the fairway at 290. So I just went with my two iron and totally whipped it. Now it looks like this green is a big gully, 156. Let's try to gully it in there. Short. A fun one here. There's that ridge that I kind of guessed and there's that, I mean, it was, so close to being pretty good. Now, I've got quite the third shot. 
pretty much all I can do from that stance. Is, come on back, come on back, come on back. Putt at par, an outside chance at par. <laughs> come on. This is the kind of, I guess, the signature hole. This is the Instagram worthy hole. This is the black hole. There's a bunker in the middle of this green with black sand in it. And where this flag is, is like right beside it. So if I hit this thing, let's say 15 feet left, pin high, I am in the black hole. Try to punch like a low draw seven iron and keep it right, a 177. That's what I'm talking about. How cool is that? There's the black hole. A bunker in the middle of the green. You could putt out of it, you could blast out of it. You got options, but you certainly just don't want to be in it. Thankfully, I kept that thing short right of it. Now let's see if we can escape with it too. Ah, <laughs> damn it. Damn it. So you survived the black hole, now you're on the gator tail. And I remember this all like a bowling alley. You have no room left, no room right. You gotta hit a great drive, you know, to keep this thing in play. Keep it alone, win. Okay, it's in play. But like, you got the wind coming off the ocean, water right. Shit left. I'm just happy that's dry. So I think I discovered why it's called gator tail. There's a strip of rough in the middle of this fairway, like a gator tail. I thought I was in the rough. Turns out I'm in the right side of the fairway. Oh, I like floated in the wind. That's a whole other thing. You got a narrow golf course, great conditions, sure, but you're right by the ocean, so you're gonna deal with wind no matter when you play this, and that kind of makes it super fun. Like I had 225 and that thing just got hit by that ocean wind and I'm like 40 yards short. Little pitch up here, some green to work with. Let's try to escape with a birdie. Last minute, I didn't know if I wanted to try to hit it spinny or let it bounce, so I just didn't need it. Making a bogey on a par five always sucks, but three putting sucks even more. But hey, I uh, got a little too aggressive with that putt up the hill and left myself a really tough one back down the hill and there you go. But in, in better news, I'm, only, I'm halfway done the round. We've played six holes and we're halfway done. Even par, kind of got ahead of myself there. I was thinking maybe make a birdie, get to two under and you know, two more from a course record. But six holes left, four of them are par threes. bit of hair of where I want it, but I think that's probably for the best. It's time to hit a wedge, nice and close. Nothing nice or close about that. Moved a little more left early than I thought. That was a really good putt. This green looks Pretty funky. I think I might have got an easy pin, but I just can't go long, it looks like. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Oh, man. That wind was gonna move that thing hard to the right. Yeah, I was right. Look at this green. That's <laughs> awesome. I did miss it in an okay place, but that wind should have moved it to the right and it moved it kind of back and to the left. Tricky, tricky. I will take that and run. In there with three, four holes left. Okay, on to nine. Par four, then three par threes, and where do you see these last th par threes around that six hole backyard? I got a question for you. If you're watching this right now and there's a little red button down there, it means you're not subscribed. So a lot of you, like 60 to 80% of you have been watching the videos lately and you aren't subscribed. So why not just click that little subscribe button 
And if you really are feeling frisky, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I'm gonna do here at the yards and any of the videos I'm gonna do in the future. So, um, ninth hole now. Okay, let's see if I can hit a better, uh, <laughs> Better shot than that uh, last time I had a wedge in my hand. It's got like 120. Punch a little pitching wedge in there. I really am expecting the wind to move it a lot more. But it didn't. Dang it! This might be one of the flattest greens out here. <laughs> Still has some motion to it. I gotta navigate it, and I definitely cannot go long on this puck because it'll trickle all the way down. Probably even off the green if you're too aggressive. Hmm. I thought I maybe left that thing about six feet short, and look at that. These greens are running so, so good. We're done with the front yard. Now we're going to finish this round out. Three holes on the backyard, three par threes. And typically when you played Oak Bridge, you'd finish here and you'd go to 10, which was like right there. And the back nine was really, bleh. where do you see the, the drama when we turn around to the, to the backyard? A little different uh, walk or ride to the backyard. And here we go. So you got a short game area right here, but you can see all six par threes from here. And look at this clubhouse patio situation. This is gorgeous. Can you imagine the money games, the closest to the pins that are gonna happen here? So this is the backyard. We're definitely gonna do some videos on these six par threes. We got three to go. Got a birdie out to tie the course record, but look at that. So cool. Oh, it's got a little teeth today, 188. Back left pin into the wind. Punch, draw, five iron, man. Middle of the green, safety first. Some navigational issues here. There's a little bit of whoop, 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 whoop. One thing I gotta say though, is I, I feel like all these six holes, you're gonna get a lot of hole in ones, which is amazing, which is what's so much fun for golfers. You got holes that collect to the certain flags, like there's gonna be hole in ones plenty out here. Maybe I can get my first. Oh, these greens are rolling so good. I don't know if you've picked up on it in the video yet, but I mean, we've got a tee for the next hole here. There was that green, there was the 10th green. And then with the American flags, it is Veterans Day. Those are the three inner loops. But the way that they've set up this six hole loop is you could play from this tee right here to that. Like you could hit from tees to greens all over these six holes come out here in the evening. There's just so much fun to be had. Like I said, little money games, closest twos. This is what I think golf should be like. Just fun, fun and not time consuming. 182 downwind and it looks like the is up on the top right shelf, tucked. Good challenge to finish the day. the wind to move that thing and it didn't. Thankfully I covered that. Look at how it kind of kicks down and away. What a great, great green. All right, no harm, no foul, even far. 12.28, I teed off at 11 o'clock on the dot. So that took one hour and 28 minutes. I played through two twosomes, but I didn't rush took my time and look at that 12 holes of golf in an hour and a half I think they're anticipating a full round 12 to be like two to two and a half hours but how good is that 
you get such a great experience if you're short on time and it's not just the kind of typical nine holes. You've got some variety, you've got some par threes, you've got 12 holes. And if you only have an hour, you know, you come play all the par threes, you loop it around. Pretty remarkable. I can't wait to make more videos out here, do some matches out here. That's going to be awesome. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe. If you're not subscribed, and I've linked uh, the yards down below if you want to check their website or Instagram and just kind of stay, stay up with what they're doing, book a tea time, uh, look into membership, all that fun stuff. So I, I can't thank them enough for letting me out here, and I can't wait to, uh, to do some more. Peace.